Hey people of the VC, it's Andy Cloudy Milder. Thought I would jump on the challenge set by Thomas over at Merciful Metal. He wanted us to show physical format releases from as from bands from as many different countries as possible. Um, he set the bar at around, I think it was around 36, and um, he's doing a little contest with it as well. And if you got over 36, you get two entries into the competition, but um, I couldn't do that. Um, 28 is is what I got up to, and I restricted it to my rock and metal collection. Um, I do have a 400 plus CDs of um, indie rock, which I'm kind of trawling my way through. Again, um, ripping those at the moment, but I thought I'd leave those out and stick to the rock and metal I'm associated with. Um, one tape, three CDs, and 24 uh, vinyl records. So I'm going to jump straight in. This could take all day. Um, also, I'm doing these in format order, cassette, CD, and albums, and in alphabetical order of the albums I pull off the shelves. So it's easier for me to put them back. Um, no effort spared in this video whatsoever. Uh, so first up, we're going to start in France. And we're going to go with uh, Savagery, Off the Ruins, uh, French thrash metal, modern thrash metal. I think this is from 20, 20 soon-ish. Uh, Iraq next. And we have a Krasikowder, Only the Dead, See the End of the War. Um, these guys are now based in the US, but they originally formed when they were in Iraq before they had to uh, flee the country. Really interesting story. There's a whole uh, documentary on um, on them. Uh, Heavy Metal Baghdad, it's called. I think it's on YouTube. You should check that out. It's a really good documentary. Lucifer's Hammer. Victory is mine. These guys are from Chile. And last of the CDs, we have uh, Painside from Brazil. Uh, these are really good. Uh, straight up heavy metal, but the vocalist is uh, uh, has... A spit for Bruce Dickinson. Really, really good stuff. Uh, on to the, uh, the vinyl. If I do these from memory, so hopefully I can remember all these now. We have a C Accuser and Who Dominates Who, uh, representing Germany. Uh, Adversity, Lost It All, representing Canada. Um, probably a little known Canadian thrash metal band. Uh, pretty good. Not spectacular, worth checking out if you're a thrash metal fan. From Russia, uh, this is called, this is uh, by Black Coffee. The album's called The Black Coffee. I think the band's called The Black Coffee. Oh no, the album's called uh, Life Never Waits. And the band's called The Black Coffee. Um, this is one of those albums you just keep in your collection when you need to show a Russian record on YouTube. Melodic rock, not that great, to be honest. I think, uh, I knew I'd forget one. I think um, a Bloody Six, I believe, are Swiss. Yes, from Switzerland. Bloody Six. I didn't get very far, did I? In the name of blood. Uh, straight up heavy metal on uh, Mausoleum. So kind of B-grade heavy metal back in the 80s, but uh, really cool stuff these days. From Japan, Earthshaker. This is a, a live uh, EP uh, on Music for Nations called Tokyo. Cool band, Earthshaker. Really kind of underrated Japanese metal. Next, we're going to England. Now, Thomas, I know you called the UK a country, but there's four countries within the UK, and I'm going to represent them all. Um, you may have got, got to your 40 had you... Uh, had you done the same? But there we go. Uh, Raven, a rock till you a drop. Uh, leads a little or no introduction. Raven's debut. From Newcastle, England. Uh, Norway, next. It's amazing how my mind just goes blank on camera. And we have uh, Flight, uh, traditional heavy metal. Really good album. If you, um, if you can like the vocals on this, you'll love this album. I'm sure. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to get used to, but uh, great stuff. Now we go to Belgium, 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 with FN Guns, 
and their album Nightmare uh, again on a mausoleum this is from what uh, it's three weeks it's got 2008 on the back but it's certainly not 2008 it's 1984 uh, 2008 is part of an address there we go 1984 FN guns from Belgium uh, Northern Ireland Gamma Bomb, been showing them a lot recently. This is uh, Citizen Brain from 2008. Great record. Thrash Metal. More Thrash Metal from Italy this time. And we have Game Over with uh, Claiming Supremacy. This is more of a modern thrash then. This is what, 2017. Cool band. Uh, from Sweden, many, many bands from Sweden. I've gone with uh, Glory Bells and uh, Century Rendezvous. Uh, I got this as VCLT from Bitbot Boom when I met up with him in the States. Very kind of him. In fact, from that same trip, uh, I also picked up uh, Hades. Uh, if at first you don't succeed, I bought this in a record shop in Boston. Uh, what was it called? The Bostonites out there. It was called Armageddon Shop in Boston. And so it's a US band on a US pressing that I paid US dollars for. So Hades, if at first you don't succeed. Uh, from Australia. They're not actually in alphabetical, are they? Uh, I was going to choose another album, but I checked this in at the last minute. Uh, Taramis, uh, Queens of Thieves from uh, Australia. Very heavy metal. From Austria, Australia to Austria. Uh, Midnight Chaser uh, from Liquid Steel. I think this is their second album. First is better than this one. Uh, new Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal. Now, from my uh, current country of residence, Lix, loose on you. Uh, Lix are from uh, Scotland, and this was uh, recorded in Edinburgh, my current hometown as well. So it's kind of nice. From Cyprus, Mirror. Great. Uh, New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal. This is a really, really good album. Well worth checking out. Now I see why you only pulled out 10 at a time, Thomas. Uh, from Finland, some more uh, New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal with uh, Outlaw with Marauders. Always reminds me of uh, Thunderstick, this guy from Samson. So I always kind of see that album and double take because I think it's I don't recognize the Samson cover. From Spain, we have Panzer and uh, the album. I think that's how you pronounce it. Great uh, traditional heavy metal again on uh, Mausoleum. From your home uh, country, Thomas, we've got uh, Picture and Eternal Dark. This is an absolutely superb album. I uh, haven't spun this for a while, actually. I'll have to give it another, another go. Keep that one out. Off to Portugal. And we have uh, Raven Sire. And this is uh, The Cycle Never Ends. Very cool artwork. Good uh, traditional heavy metal. Again, um, most of my representation seems to be from Western Europe. I have little, if nothing, from Eastern Europe at all, apart from that Russian one. Um, we're going to go to Ireland now. I think this band are from Kildare. And this is uh, Stereo Nasty and uh, Twisting the Blade. Um, they've only done two albums. This one sounds like it's what was left over for the first album. The first album is a lot better, but I've shown it a few times before, so I thought I'd get this one out. I do love the artwork. Simple, but uh, effective. So these guys are from Ireland. And from my... country of my youth, the land of my fathers. We've got Tortoise Corpse and World's Got a Problem. Welsh thrash metal at its absolute finest. Fun album. Good stuff.
not as bad as the cover and the name of the band would suggest and two more um this is my a representation from uh, denmark it's a witch cross and uh axe to grind from it's on hell's headbangers from I don't know the year what's the year uh 2013 i've not heard this in a long time again i'm gonna leave that one out give that one a spin and number 28 um if you've been counting along uh the only kind of black metal album in my collection although this is more sort of um atmospheric progressive-ish black metal i think it's a one-man band and this is it's not called nicta it's uh the band is Zeminal. there's the yeah but you're looking at that going that's not black metal there we go that's your black metal and the uh album's called nicta um it's not too bad but these guys are this guy is from greece and it's very very shiny okay there we have it thomas great challenge took me a while to think about all of those and pull them out um i've got a feeling i missed one or two but I was never going to beat your score anyway so 28 is my total um thanks for having this contest great idea really enjoyed doing it enjoyed seeing some of the other entrants as well let's see some more catch you soon